Hey guys, it's Ben Chan. I am currently learning Japanese on Lexicute.com. I don't know very much yet. I've just started hiragana and a little bit of katakana. So the goal that I have in mind is to be able to use Japanese in my videos on YouTube. This is way down the line once I start becoming a little bit more um, proficient in it. But I also have the other goal of being able to read Japanese in my video gaming. So. Uh, a couple of my favorite games. One is Gungner, which got like a 5.5 out of 10 on GameSpot.com. I disagree. I thought it was a really cool game. It's also really, 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 really difficult. Uh, the other one, which is my all-time favorite uh, strategy game, is Yggdra Union, which also did not receive very good reviews, but I love it. And so I created a whole YouTube channel, I think it was five or six years ago, chronicling every single map and a walkthrough, a video walkthrough nonetheless. Um, and so you guys, if, if you, if you like Yggdra's Union, you can totally check it out. Um, I've decided that I really want to play some of the rest of the series. There's a game called Blaze Union that I've ordered. It's coming this next Wednesday, so I'm really excited. But I can't read it because it's all in Japanese. And so I'm really hoping that, uh, through Lexikeet, I'll be able to learn some Japanese. And also my brother, uh, he has a website called JapaneseGameGuy.com. And so he is helping me by going through and translating all that Japanese into English for me. But we're also putting it into Lexikeet so that those of you who are avid video gamers like myself, who would like to be able to import Japanese games and actually be able to play them in Japanese and not have to keep referring back and referring back and referring back to between the languages, uh, so that you can do it as well. And so we're starting with Blaze Union, and I'm totally going to use this because I really want to play this game. And I also don't want to have to have the crutch of English. So that's my goal. Uh, let's see how it goes, and now I'm going to show you a speed run, not a speed run, but, you know, uh, just a normal session of my Japanese, okay, it's a speed run, I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. Uh, so, let's see how this goes, and uh, while it's running, I just want to tell you a little bit more about uh, what our Lexikeet site does, because I really, I really think, if you have any interest in learning Japanese at all, I started from nothing, I knew nothing. I would look at Japanese and I'd go, wow, that is awesome, look at those squiggles. It almost looks like Chinese. And then I'd say, oh, there are some Chinese characters in here, but I don't know what they are. So uh, for me, Japanese is as foreign as Chinese is for a lot of you. Now, that having been said, uh, I started learning Japanese just a couple of months ago using Lexikeet, and I started off very slowly. The uh, first five characters in Hiragana literally took me like 10 minutes to get through because I just could not. How are you supposed to to recognize Hiragana, you know, ah, a, e, e, o, u, uh, if you've never seen it before. It's all rote memorization, right? I mean, unless there's some technique to be able to say that ah makes this sound written. I don't think there is. So it took me a long time just to get through those first five, and it was kind of frustrating. But now that as you can see in my little speed run here, I'm actually getting pretty good at recognizing them. And so just like with the, al the alphabet in English, you have to keep practicing it. Or in the case of music, you gotta practice your scales, you've gotta practice your arpeggios, uh, etudes, all of those things because you have to build the building blocks first before you can build things on top of it. If you don't have a good foundation, you fall. And especially for violin, if you don't build your foundation properly, you're gonna sound terrible. Uh, I shouldn't say it as meanly as that. I'm just trying to be frank. You're not gonna sound great if you don't have a good foundation. Um, and so I'm trying to take the same approach uh, with music as I am with language. And so I'm starting and just learning it uh, from the basics. So I've got some hiragana, I've got some katakana getting mixed in there. And the cool thing about Lexikeet is that it will only test me on the characters that I'm having trouble with. So as I'm doing this, uh, once I get good at the characters, obviously I'm bad at all of them to start, but once I get really good at them, it stops bringing them at, back as frequently and only brings back the ones I'm having trouble with so that when I come back the next day, I can say, okay, Lexikeet, give me the words that I'm bad at. Let me practice those, and Lexikeet just does it for me. So Atlas fans, uh, Yggdra Union fans, Japanese fans, um, language fans, come check it out. Come check out Lexikeet.com. We've got a free trial so you can learn uh, a few words and some conjugations. Just try it out for free, and then once you're ready, you can upgrade and just, you know, let the, let the horses go. On to the race. Anyways, I'm very excited to go back to learning, and so... Um, I will show you, share more once I have it. See you guys later. Bye.